Well, it's Wine Wednesday. So today we're learning how to pair your favorite steak mm. with a great wine. Sounds like a good pairing <laughs> to me. It does. I hope she brings some back here mm -hmm. to the station. Marcy Jones is at Carbone's Prime right here in Rocky Hill. And tell us all about the wine selection there. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, you guys. It's a real benefit of getting to know somebody. Of course, our familiar face and our friend, we have Julius Angelini here of Angelini Wines, and he just said the perfect sentence. He goes, we're going to buzz through the wines. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well. We've got four wines. We've got four minutes. I believe in us. What do we have here? Well, we're going to start with bubbly. Okay. Because As why always. not? Yes, why I not? love it. Yeah. We're effervescent people. Makes sense. Yeah. And it, it's fun. This is a great wine. So this is the uh, uh, Il Boro Bolle, which okay. means sparkling wine, which means bubbles in Italian. Okay. So this is champagne style. So it's been six years on the lees. So it stays in the bottle for six years before it's aged. I love this color, and, too. I feel like yeah. this is kind of an unusual color. Well, it's a Sangiovese, which is a red grape. So okay. this why, that's why it's a, it's a rosé, in essence. So this yep. is... Uh, this wine can be have okay. as, you can have as an aperitif or for the whole meal. You okay. can actually it'd be great it with the. It smells sweet, but is it not no, going it's to not. be? No, it's very okay, dry. Okay, that's what yes. I thought. But uh, we're going to have a uh, cod Ooh, lobster it's crusted very dry. cod. Oh, yes. I really like that. Oh my God, this is awesome. I it's could, light. Could... I feel like it's playful, which I know is not a flavor, but if it was, this is exactly what it would be. Oh, I really like that. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay, yeah. so an aperitif, something light. But no, this can also go with a whole meal, actually. Okay. So this year, because it's still got a lot of body to yeah. it. Yeah. So it's, it's fine. So you think that would go with the cod that we're going to be oh, showing perfect. later? Perfect. Okay. Great. So now we're going to go with a alternative to Pinot Grigio, let's say. Okay. Because everybody knows Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd start with a agave. Okay. Agave is from uh, just north of Genova. And it's it only, in this one area, the only thing that grows there is cortisic grape that's used to make gavi. Okay. So this is actually, uh, uh, I love what, this is one of my favorite white wines. No wood aging. Mm -hmm. But what it does have, it's got a little peach stone, uh, a little pear maybe. So it's Yes, just, I can smell both of those. Well, These have been very fragrant wines already this morning. Yeah. Well, hey, you yeah. have to wake up, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, right? Okay, another little cheers. Delicious. Very light, very crisp. I feel like you can smell the fruit almost more than you can taste it with yes, this exactly. one. Yes, exactly. But it's a nice, clean finish. Absolutely. Nice. So this, again, oh, this one's a bit, This one is, this is a dangerous one. <laughs> I feel like I could have so much of that. This oh, my God. Incredible. What would you pair this with? Well, any kind of fish. Uh, they actually, this area is known for their pesto. Okay. So they use the pesto oh. with the basil. So this is a great with uh, because that's also lighter in style. Right. But anything that's a little bit in the lighter, lighter style in, in place of, let's say, Pinot Grigio. Okay. So, Wonderful. Uh, yeah. yeah, I could definitely see Pinot fans liking yeah. that, too. Okay. So we're going to go to the uh, some of the couple of big reds. Okay. So we're going to do a uh, Passetti, which is a small winery in Abruzzo. Mm -hmm. This is with Montepulciano, which is one of the most uh, actually popular grapes. I've heard grapes. you yeah. mention that before, yeah. Uh, but there's, there's good and bad Montepulcianos. This is a particularly nice one. Oh, what did the bad ones do? Well, they don't have as much flavor. <laughs> oh, we don't it's like a, that. We don't want that. Yeah. So this one here is a small winery. Actually, there, it's, uh, I think, I don't know if we had this before, but it's uh, in a national park. Okay. But the park was made after the winery was there, so they were grandfathered in. So they're only winery that that's actually in a national park. And it's called Fonte Romana because there's a fountain on the property back from the Roman wow. times. And I love how they tied that in with the label. That's so Yeah, it perfect. is. And we, I, we were there. This water, I mean, you know, obviously the Romans did an incredible job with aqueducts and water was everywhere. Yep. So they, this water fountain was there since the Roman times. Then the, obviously the facade's been different. But when yep. I ask about the gargoyles that's on, where the water comes out of, oh, that's, they say it's only two, three hundred years old. To them, yeah. that's nothing. Oh, it's new. That's no, that's how big deal. Brand new. <laughs> Brand new, yeah. That's incredible. This is really delicious. It's very light. I feel like, again, well, it's like, this is a dangerous one, you it guys. It is, because it seems light, but it's not. Yeah. So it sneaks up on you. you so could, why? Well, it seems yeah. light because I could have a lot of it. Yes. That's what it is. Yeah, that, 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 too. All right, so what do we have And then we're going to go back to Boro. Okay. Boro, which is the property owned by uh, Ferragamos. Yes. In, uh, in, in Tuscany. So this is their... It's a very fashionable estate, you guys. Yeah. This is a also organic, actually. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Sangiovese grape. So this is the same grape that's used to make... The sparkling wine. Oh, so interesting. But this is obviously vinified. It's all obviously red. Right. And it's about uh, 12 months in large oak barrels. So this okay. is a traditional, kind of like people know Brunello, 
mm -hmm. because it's from uh, Tuscany, it's right. Sangiovese, so this is kind of like a Brunello mm -hmm. in that, but it, it's in different areas, so it cannot be called Brunello. So this is a big, big, these two are big, heavier that wines. I have the kick right away. Yes, it's this is a little is peppery, a bigger, it's delicious. Very good, very spicy, yeah. <laughs> Thank Excellent. you. Excellent, excellent. That's why I and, love Julian. Uh, and then we're going to have uh, with uh, the pasta dish, with I think it's with braised. Yes, sauce. so we don't want to give away too much, but we will pan over there so that you can see the two dishes and the guys behind them. We've got a cod coming up, and then we've also got a delicious pasta, so we're going to get to that. All of the fun details coming up in just a little bit. You guys, Wine Wednesday is so fun. Come visit us here at Carbone's Prime in Rocky Hill and definitely pick up some of these bottles from Angelini Wines. Beautiful. That looks delicious. Marcy, that is the nicest coat rack too behind you. I love it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> we could be there in four minutes. Four minutes, exactly. Coming up on